let's say if you had a bad day at work and you just want somebody to listen to you you want to vent out your frustrations and share your personal challenges with them and during that conversation you felt that they are not actually listening to you they give you all sorts of advice or solutions that you think are not necessary in the end you felt unheard and you decided not to continue with the conversation if you are feeling this way it is most likely that the other party is not an effective listener now this is a very common problem that happened to us because as human beings we tend to have our own biases perceptions judgments and beliefs of viewing things so in order to communicate effectively you need to be an active listener as well in this video i'm going to share with you the seven techniques of how to make you an effective listener so that as you communicate with the other party they'll be more willing to share more information with you Technique number one is to always remain eye contact with the other person as you speak. Now this is very important because as you remain eye contact with that person, you are actually showing respect to them. Then they know that you are paying 100% attention by being fully present with them. And in the end, they'll be more willing to share information with you. Now let's say if you are not comfortable on having that eye contact at all times you can always look in between the eyebrows of the other party so that once in a while you can always glance back and remain eye contact again so this will help you to make you become an effective listener as well technique number two is to sometimes you can nod your head or smiles as they speak now by doing this body gestures and facial expressions the other party can feel that you are actually acknowledging them of what they are experiencing right now and not only that it can help to build rapport trust and relationship with the other party in an amazing conversation with them technique number three is to lean your body forward as the person is speaking by doing that you're actually showing that you are interested to what they are going to talk about and that will even grab their attention and share more information with you. Technique number four is to ask questions. As you know, people love to answer any questions that they are passionate about. So when you ask more questions, the speaker will realize that you are actually interested and curious to find out more about them and they'll be more willing to elaborate further. Technique number five is don't interrupt your speaker as he or she is speaking because it may appear rude to them. So always show mutual respect and let them finish their sentence before you make any observations, comments, or opinions about the topic. Technique number six is to stick to the speaker's subject. That means by going with the flow with the speaker. Because your speaker is very passionate about talking this topic, so go with the flow with them and elaborate further instead of deviating the conversation. The last technique is to use your speaker's own words to get your points across. That means you can paraphrase or summarize what they are saying so that at a point of time, you will get the speaker to agree with you and also let them feel that you are actually paying full attention to listening to them. I hope this video gives you an idea of what makes you an effective listener. And how can you implement these seven techniques in your listening skills? As an effective listener, you will tend to build more trust, rapport, and improve on your relationship with the other party. And if you enjoyed this video, please do remember to click on the subscribe button below, turn on the notification bell, and share with me in the comments whether you are using any of the seven techniques to improve your listening skills. And that's all for now, and I'll see you in my next video.